as we look at the world around us, it is so very easy to be paralyzed. It is a world of chaos, of uncertainty and instability, where hopelessness is all around us. It is so easy to be disheartened. It is so easy to feel distant from one another, to feel distant from God. We could easily look upon faith and our relationship with the most holy is broken. Broken in a way that we might not know. God. Because God feels distant. God feels so far away from the chaos that we endure. So far away from the trouble that seems to be around every single bend. But God is not distant. We could easily look upon statements and affirmations of faith with irony. These things seem so juxtaposed to the world that we're living in. To affirm a belief in a God that seems to not serve you. Of a Holy Spirit that you cannot feel and of a Jesus that's not here to save you. Why? Why? How does it help your chaotic and turbulent world? How does it help the trials that you face here and now in this moment? But in this season, the season of Lent, the season of repentance, of renewal, restoration, and ultimately reflection, we can finally come to the true meaning of a statement of faith, of an affirmation of our belief in the most holy. We can come to know a creator, a God that wove us into being, that set at the loom of life and created everything that we are and everything that we will be, a God that ordained this moment and all the moments to come, a God that knows all of the trials you will face, but a God that also knows all of the triumphs that are to come, that we might come to know a spirit that breathes life into our tattered and weary souls. A spirit that holds us and loves us. A spirit that empowers us to go forth and be truth and be light to a world in such desperate need. And if we reflect, we might come to know a Jesus that saves. A Jesus that set a path for us to follow. A Jesus that cleared the way. That redeemed our very being, our very spirits, that we might live lives of freedom, of truth, of grace, of mercy, that we might be more. And when we come to know this creator, and we come to know this spirit, and we come to know this Jesus, the turbulent world doesn't seem quite so chaotic anymore. Because Jesus came and he lived and he died and he rose again. So the trouble that we face in this world has been overcome. Jesus overcame it and so too might we. But the only way, the only way that we might overcome it is if we lean into our fears. If we have the courage, even the smallest courage to state the things that we believe, to affirm our faith and our belief in the most holy, the God that loves us, the spirit that fills us, and the Jesus that saves us. We will always face some trouble in this world, just as Jesus did, just as our ancestors did before us. 
but there is triumph on the horizon if we only have the courage and the resilience to persevere. God says, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper. The only way forward is through. So do you have the courage to lean into that fear, to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, to affirm the beliefs of your heart, even in the hardest and the darkest of times? Do you have the courage and the resilience to see it through and to see triumph on the other side? For that is the life that God ordained for you. Do you have the courage to see it through?